No already. And if I just set this box. Oh yeah, there's what five boxes here? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. No six. Six? Take a look at it. Yeah. All right. How's it going, man? Yeah. Is this everything? Yeah. Alrighty. Y'all doing all right today? One forty. Yeah. Count that, make sure it's all there. Should be. That's it. Alrighty, sir. I appreciate it. Yeah. Hey man, if you find more stuff, let me know. Hello. Oh, hey. He said he could do it. Good. How are y'all? Good. We'll be proud of it. Just lay it down a little bit. It'll be fine. I know, right? I know what I want to put it's my cold. It wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't for the Those two little blue and white containers, now I just put them in a bigger box because I had those containers so long, I, I didn't want to get rid of them. I'll just slide yeah. it out so you can look. Alrighty. And if I just set this box. Oh, yeah. There's what, five boxes here? One, two, yeah. three, four, five, yeah. No six. Six? Six. Yeah. Five in those two little, those two little containers in a box. Yeah. And I did find one of those, those 72 pins I told you about. 
Yeah. I got you. The new one? Yes, ma'am. Okay. His lay like on top of the ball. I took this off the top of that big box. I'm just kind of browsing through all this. Got every cord in there for every system. Oh yeah, yeah. There's cords for tennis, safety, all of them. So what is this? <laughs> it's a TV game. Mickey Mouse. You on your lunch break? No, I work from home. So, any time of the day is lunch break for me. Yeah, I just a few minutes earlier. You know, some of them did have a problem with sticking. Yeah, it's fine. I can take them apart and clean them out. That's it. All righty. That's good. If you do, let me know. All right, you wanted uh, what, 120? Okay. When you go through, I mean, I'll take your call and let you know. And then, unless it just, you know. Well, there's 120 and a pocket full of lint right there. Yeah, no, no <laughs> uh, count that and make sure it's all there. Should be. Yeah. All, all right. right. I appreciate it. Thank Jason. you so much. But I'll give right. you okay, folks. We've got six boxes here full to go through. And. You were able to see a little bit of it um, as I was picking it up, but I still have no clue what's all in these boxes. I got all six boxes for 120 bucks. Fantastic score here. So we're just going to go through it and uh, see what all we got. All right, so we've got an extremely dirty PS2 Slim here. But I'm hoping, you know, I can clean up some of this stuff, refurbish it, you know, get it working again. I mean, that looks like I, I might be able to. It does have some corrosion, so I, I don't know. That might be for parts. We've got a GameCube here. Missing the, the bottom covers here. Um, if there's a game in here, I don't know because this button is stuck. Um, so I'd have to open that up. We've got just a bunch of controllers here, and now that I'm in some light, actually that's a really good stick. That just needs to be cleaned up. It's a little bit dusty, got a couple of cobwebs on it. But that stick on that controller is really good. So that's a, a nice little start right there. I'm sure we'll find some, some third party stuff in here, like this, this controller right here. Um, program pad. It does have the official PlayStation logo on it. 
So this must have been licensed by Sony. I don't know, I've never seen that controller before. So if you have, let me know. Um, let's see, we got some red, white, and yellow cables. Always need those for Nintendo bundles. Let's see, we got a PlayStation AV cord here. Uh, gosh, some of this stuff is just so dirty and moldy. Uh, I don't know. There's money here, though. Just got to clean it up. The money is here, for sure. Uh, Mad Cat's original Xbox controller. So we got a, a PS1 Slim. Nothing inside. See if we can... Yep, yeah, come on. Oh well, there we go. All right. Uh, there's some games in here. We'll uh, set these games off to the side and see what else we can dig out of here. Got our original Xbox controller. PS1 controller? Yeah, PS1 black. I don't think I've ever seen them in black. We got a, a printer cable here. Uh, what is this? We got some. I don't know what this is. Was it a RAM or something? I don't know. Uh, we got an original Game Boy game. James Bond 007. Here's one. Too bad the game's not in there. Sonic Adventure 2. That would have been, I don't know, condition of that manual. That's horrible. It's just, it's waterlogged. Well, that's disappointing. Uh, telephone wire. Atari 2600 joystick, Donkey Kong, Coleco, Raiders of the Lost Ark, I don't know folks, you, you see there's like just a ton of stuff in here, it'll take us forever to go through all of this, we got Ready to Rumble Boxing, Here's something nice, Game Shark Pro. I wonder if I can get that to work. It does seem like it might be rusted up a bit. I don't know, let's see. There's some pistachio shells in here. I don't know what this is. Motorola. More wires. So there's a Super Nintendo controller, NES controller with a baggie still on it, so that might still be good and clean that up. Another Nintendo controller. Another one. And we just got, I don't know, just a random box of SMR cables in here and some other random stuff. Uh, these games were Mousetrap, um, Game Gear, The Majors Pro Baseball, Game Gear, NFL 95, nothing too crazy there. Let's see. Move on to this box. We got an NES. Uh, definitely needs cleaning. But uh, it doesn't seem to be in too bad a shape. Uh, just needs a major cleaning. That's money. Let's see what we got in here. Tomb Raider 2 on the PS1. We got a Dreamcast controller, very nice. With two VMUs in it. Mad Cats. I guess just memory cards and not really VMUs. That's nice to have though. Always use uh Dreamcast controllers. 
Which way is this going? There we go. Yeah, seems to be in good shape. Got a PS1 here. Anything inside? Nope. I'm really not fond of finding these PS1s. They're just so cheap. Let's see, we got some games. Uh, NBA Live 96. Abadox. Hydlide. I don't think I got that one. I, I have Abadox. GameCube controller, yay, with a messed up joystick. Uh, Nintendo GameCube, Super Nintendo, <coughs> AV cable. Power cord. GameCube power cord, that's money all day right there. Let's see what we got in here. Time Crisis for the PlayStation 1. Whole bag full of AV cables and power cords. That's always nice to have. I don't know, some kind of what is this too? An Xbox? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Power cable. More power cables and AV cables. Xbox. Oh, wow, this stuff is so dirty. Alright, let's get into some good stuff. I saw some pretty good stuff in this box here. We got a Sega Game Gear bag. Inside, we've got the blue Sega Game Gear. This in the back here. Pretty corroded clutch hitter. Let's see about this side. Oh, God. Look at that. All rusted out. That's so disappointing. I don't even know if I can repair that. I don't know. From the looks of it, I haven't really seen anything too spectacular yet, so... I don't know, 120 might have been too much. <clears throat> Game Boy Advance bag. That should be about 10 bucks after I clean it up. Throw that in the wash and get it washed up. Laser Blast. Atari 2600. I don't know. Tomorrow Never Dies. Oh, that's in there. First complete game. PlayStation 1. There we go. Now, Grand Theft Auto Collector's Edition. I'll be surprised if it's all complete. It looks like they're all here. Let's, let's see. Oh, well, yep, that one is. And GTA 2. Uh, I don't know. That might be it. And there we go. Yeah. That might be all, all there, all complete. So that's a nice little find. I think, I think that Grand Theft Auto Collector's Edition sells for about $30, $35. And we got another GameCube here with the Game Boy Advance attachment. That's the first time I've ever found one. I'd be surprised if the disc was in here. I highly doubt it is. It's definitely not in the system. But I'll be keeping that for sure. Let's see. We got a, a router. Yeah, I don't need that. Baseball Simulator 2000. Nothing great there. We got a three and a half inch floppy drive there. Another one. Got the instruction manual for Cosmic Arc. Um, I don't know. Dumbo. Lucky Luke. Never heard of Lucky Luke. And it looks like somebody put a big sticker on it. This ain't that bad. <clears throat> Never heard of Lucky Luke, but that's one I did not have. And let's see. Got some more PS1 cases here. That's Gran Turismo 2. I don't know. 
We have the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Is it in there? No. Gran Turismo 2. Is it in here? Yeah, there's one disc. Maybe the, the other disc is in here. I don't know. Let's see. There's the manual. There's the disc for siphon filter. No, just siphon filter. I don't know. Let's see. Nothing in that. Spec Ops Stealth Patrol. I don't know. More Game Gear games. We got WrestleMania Steel Cage, X Men. Well, here's the N64 game, Wave Race. Here's another N64, Sarge's Heroes 2. We're finding some games. A bunch of Atari games in here, too. Space Attack, ET. Got another Nintendo controller. Uh, let's see. It's like PS1 demo disc. What's on that? Oh, it's broke. Okay, snap right in half. Garbage. Uh, what's in here? Garbage. 007 Racing. I think I've got the case and manual for this one so I'll be able to complete that and then another PlayStation demo disc yeah I'm pretty sure I got the case and manual for that bootleg DVD oh we got some Genesis games here well they're all sports yeah, they're all looks like Madden 96 is complete triple play 96 is complete Rugby World Cup 95 is complete. Uh, let's see. Wow. <laughs> a Virtual Boy game. Mario Clash. I've never found a Virtual Boy game. Never. That is freaking cool. Um, I think that that might be worth a little bit. I'd have to double check on press charts. We got NBA Jam on the Game Gear. Garfield caught me at on the Game Gear. Daffy Duck, the Marvin Missions, Super Nintendo, NBA Courtside on the N64. Let's see, we got Cosmic Arc. We got a manual for that one too. This one has no label, so no clue. Circus Atari. Armor Ambush. Let's see. Pac-Man. Space Combat. Bowling. Word Zapper. Berserk. Stampede. Pac-Man. Warlords. Dragster. Outer Space, Brainstorming, Skiing, Night Driver, and Fishing Derby. I oh, got a, another router. This looks like a rechargeable battery charger. Class 2 battery charger. That might be worth something on eBay. Uh, 007 Agent Under Fire, Final Fantasy 7, Disc 3, there we go, Spyro, Disc Only, Final F Fantasy 7, Disc 2, Final Fantasy 7, Disc 1, Final Fantasy 7, Disc 2, let's see, so I got some movies here, She Wore a Yellow Ribbon, Sea Change, Stone Cold, No Remorse, some some Tom Selleck movies there. Uh, let's see. Platoon. Uh, that looks like an NES 
manual right there. Got the Atari catalog. Kenny G, oh yeah, I'll be listening to that. Nothing in that case. Let's see, we got Combat and Frogs and Flies. Uh, we got, oh wow. <laughs> Are you serious? Look here. Boom, Steel Battalion. Never found that game. Man, I wish the the big uh, controller for that game was in, in this box. That would be a hell of a find. That's nice though. Still Battalion. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So we got a memory card. Looks like a PS1 memory card. Another floppy drive. Not too bad out of that box. Let's see. Let's dig into this box. Here's some money right here. A watermelon N64 with expansion pack. So there's basically almost all my money back right there off of that one console. I'll take that apart, clean out the inside, make sure everything's nice and working properly. Hell yeah. So I saw this in, in the pictures that the lady sent me and I, I knew there was a good majority of my money back right there. Let's see, in this bag we got... It's like a original Xbox wireless receiver, PS1 memory card, got a Game Boy bag here, uh, I don't feel any games in it, NASCAR Thunder 2003, man we heavy hitting right there, Newman Haas Racing, I don't know, what does that say, yeah Newman Haas Racing, I don't know, I don't think I had either of those. Nothing crazy though. We got another GameCube. That one opens up. Not too bad a shape. So we got three GameCubes. The Genesis controller, original Xbox controller, PS2 controller. What was this? Arena Blast. I don't know. Oh, it's a PC game. Another PS1 here, nothing inside. Let's see. Another PS1, nothing inside. N64 controller. Ooh, that's got a pretty good stick right there. Heck yeah. I'm tired of finding N64 controllers with bad sticks. That's got a pretty damn good stick on it right there. Let's see, we got, what the hell is this? Uh, I don't even know. Anybody got a clue what that is? It looks like an MP3 player or something. I don't know. Uh, we got Super Mario Brothers 3, College Football 96, Video Pinball, Pyramids of Raw, Matchbox. That's a Game Boy game I did not have. I don't know if you can see that. And we got more AV cables. And this looks like the link cable. Might be a link cable for a Sega 32X. Might be. I don't know. Got another beat up GameCube controller. That's unfortunate. Oh, Mole Mania. Never seen or found that game before. And that's nice. Another one for the collection. And a couple more AV cables. Alright. This bag we got some N64 power packs. Three of them. So that's nice. Three N64 power packs. Let's see. Vertical Horizon, empty case. Uh, more power cables. And this is a PS1 controller. Atomic Purple, pretty loose stick. So we got oh, Super Mario World manual.
empty case. Let's see, we got, I don't know, it looks like a laptop power brick. Another power cable. Some more cables. God, there's a lot of cables. Seems like I paid a lot for cables. The hell, I mean, console cables I always need, but. Remember, folks, I bought this site on the scene. I mean, she sent me a couple of pictures, but I did not know what all was in these boxes. This, there could have been anything in these boxes. There could have been a, a rare game. Just just mounds of cables here. Look at all this. Just gobs of cables. Okay, yeah. Games nope. I'm gonna pull all that out. And then I have one more box to go through. So we got a uh what is this? 3DS charger. Okay, we got a whole mountain full of cables again. I mean, look at this. God, what? Just, I'm looking to see if there's any games or anything. Game related with another controller. PS1, power pad, and Nintendo controller. I don't know, for 120 bucks, I mean, the money's here. There's going to be some things I get to keep. There's nothing really spectacular. Like, oh my god, there's like no earthbound in here. Arrow fires, or there's no little Samson or anything in here. But got some X Men booster pack cards, never opened. I don't know. There you have it, folks. So All right, man. It says sixty-nine dollars. Sixty-five. All right. It's Twenty, forty, or sixty, and five. Right, thanks, I sir. appreciate it, man. Yeah. Have a good one. You too. Mm -hmm.
Okay, YouTube. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. We've got so much stuff. Where do I begin? Oh, okay, so you see like a lot of these power packs. All of these controllers, majority of them, except for this white PS3 controller. Most of these came out of, well, all of them came out of that huge six box lot full of stuff. So I've got some boxes here and we're going to clean off the table as we go. I'm, I'm trying to do this like the best way I can do it um, and do it in a speedy fashion. So we've got several N64 uh, power packs. There were like four of them. And then we've got, um, let's see, we've got a PS1 power pack, <clears throat> some kind of infrared sensor for PS1. We've got a Game Boy, what looks like a DS charger, a PSP charger. We've got several Super Nintendo chargers. There's one, uh, two, three, four Super Nintendo, no, five Super Nintendo chargers. And we've got four NES chargers. And I'm trying to get through these. We got two GameCube chargers. Uh, we've got a Game Boy Advance SP charger. That's fantastic. I'd never find SPs with their chargers. Two pretty beat up um, GameCube controllers. And I got a separate box for the controllers. Uh, the joysticks are pretty wonky on them, but I'm going to order some new joysticks and get those replaced. We've got PS2 controller. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six Nintendo controllers, NES controllers. So just crazy madness here. Uh, we've got two Super Nintendo controllers. We've got a couple of original Xbox controllers. We've got some PS1 controllers. The black one I've never seen. Um, so it was really cool to come by that. Let's get that out the way. Uh, I've never seen this controller, but it is licensed by PlayStation. Program pad. Pretty beat up, but it was in the box. Another PS1 controller. A Dreamcast controller. A Mad Cats OG Xbox. And we got a Genesis 3 button. Then we. Alright. Then we've got three N64 controllers with really nice joysticks. Um, well, this one's a little loose. That one's pretty good. Overall, they're all in working condition. And two out of three have good joysticks. That's, that's awesome. Found a lot of uh, Atari games. This one has no label. We got Fish and Derby, uh, Video Pinball, Warlords, Dragster, E.T., Laser Blast, Word Zapper, Stampede, Donkey Kong, uh, Circus Atari, Combat, Pac-Man, Bolin, uh, Berserk, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Mousetrap, Skiing, Night Driver, another Pac-Man. I sold quite a few to a subscriber already shipped them to him and he has already received them so let me grab another box and we can chunk some games in it this is like the most unconventional um, recap but I'm trying to speed through this because there's so much there's just so much and we'll get some of this stuff out of the way there we go Make all the noise. All right. Found a Game Shark Pro in uh, for the Game Boy Color and Game Boy Pocket in that lot. Uh, let's see. There was this N64 with the red expansion pack. I always keep standard jumper packs on me, so I can sell that by itself and sell the expansion separately. Oh, where to next? Okay, there was a 3DS charger in that lot. Um, we got several Game Boy cases and Game Gear cases. 
the Game Boy games in that lot. James Bond 007, Mole Mania, which is about a $20-$25 uh, Game Boy game. I was not aware of that, but looked it up, and it's going for some good money. Pyramids of Ra, that's about a $15 game. And then we got Ready to Rumble Boxing with no battery cover. Then we've got a couple of um, Super Nintendo games. Baseball Simulator 1000, NBA Live 96, and Daffy Duck, uh, the Marvin Missions. And let's see what else we had in that lot. Um, there was some N64 games, and this came from uh, the $140 lot that I bought. Um, that uh, N64 already sold. Uh, NBA Courtside was in that big lot. Um, Army Man Sarge's Hero 2 was in that lot, and Wave Race. All three discs for Black Label Final Fantasy VII were in that lot. Um, I have resurfaced all three of them, and they all work very well. There was a disc only of Spec Ops Stealth Patrol, uh, Siphon Filter, Time Crisis, Tomb Raider 2, and a PlayStation Magazine demo disc, and Spyro uh, the Dragon. Uh, this has a lot of top scratches, though, so I doubt it'll work. And then uh, we got Gran Turismo 2. It is missing disc 2. And then we had an empty case for Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. And then, let's get those out the way. Uh, there was College Football 96 in that lot. And there was Abadox and Super Mario Brothers 3 in that lot. Um, let's see, there were some Game Gear games. The Majors Pro Baseball. X-Men, NFL 95, NBA Jam, Clutch Hitter, uh, Garfield, Caught in the Act, and WrestleMania Steel Cage. There was also a blue uh, Sega Game Gear in that lot. Uh, one of the battery uh, bays had a lot of rust. I went ahead and completely took that Game Gear apart, and the boards all look really, uh, really good on it. So I'm going um, to refurbish it. I've already uh, been in contact with Reambean, and Reambean sent me a, um, a capacitor kit and some replacement battery doors and. Uh, the replacement battery contacts because all the contacts were rusted out So once I get those in I should be able to rebuild it Also in that lot it was uh, some stuff that I'm keeping uh, Minus these loose disc. We got 007 agent under fire and Final Fantasy 7 greatest hits disc 2 um, But some games that I was keeping from that lot were Hydlide uh, side Pocket, Pac-Man Tengen version, Grand Theft Auto Collector's Edition. They're all three in there, complete and in really nice condition. Uh, Newman Haas Racing, a, win, a winning IndyCar tradition. Tomorrow Never Dies. 007 Racing came with a lot um, as a loose disc, but I had the uh, the case and manual for it, so I was able to complete that. It's very nice. Lucky Luke, never even heard of that game until I found it in the lot. And NASCAR Thunder 2003. And Steel Battalion. Um, man, if, <laughs> if that controller would have been in this lot, that would have been awesome. Also in that lot that I was completely unaware of until I looked it up on eBay was this cell phone. And this is the old Motorola StarTac. If you can find these in working condition, these sell upwards of around $60. And 
this one is still in working condition as you can see I just powered it on um, it holds time it holds the date uh, it charges really well and I guess there are vintage um, cell phone collectors out there in the world well it came with um, the headphone jack attached to the top it came with the belt clip and the charger so I've got that listed already I was very surprised to, to learn that that was worth a good bit of money I'm going to get to these games which were not a part of that lot and then we'll get to the consoles back here that were um, but I bought another lot and the Super Nintendos I get to keep out of that are Dragon's Lair, Populous, Rival Turf, Stargate, Bram Stoker's Dracula, and Home Alone. Let's slide those off to the side. Um, I ended up acquiring uh, the Rainbow Six Grey Cart variant. I needed that for the collection. Hercules. Um, actually, I bought a little lot off of eBay, and it came with Hercules, uh, the Rainbow Six Grey Cart, and a yellow um, N64 controller, all for 20 bucks, which was a nice little score. I never find anything really worth buying on eBay, um, but I came across that, and it was two games that I needed and a controller that I needed to finish you know all of the colored controllers that I needed for the collection minus the Pokemon and the banana controller the Nintendo Power Gold and the Millennium um, but I got all the other colors and then two games that I needed for the collection that's great I ended up acquiring an extra Rainbow Six Grey Cart this week so I'll be able to sell that and recoup some of my money back on that I uh, got a package in from uh, Relentless Hagler and he sent me in um, three Game Boy DMGs, a Game Boy Pocket, a couple of Game Boy games, and uh, two N64 games that I need for the collection. So we got Duke Nukem Zero Hour and Monopoly. Thank you so much, Relentless Hagler. I appreciate that very much. I bought a really big PS3 lot, so I went to um, I went up to the local pawn shop. This guy is standing in front of me with a box full of PlayStation 3 stuff. Uh, the, the console, two controllers, and a stack full of games. And they're not taking any PlayStation 3 stuff at the pawn shop right now. Um, they will, but as of right now, they're not taking any because they have so much back stock. So she said, well, this gentleman right behind you might be interested in buying it, and sure enough, I was. So him and I walk off to the side, and we stand there at the counter off to the side and let everybody else you know go ahead of us and we're sitting there talking and we agreed on $65 so for $65 I got the PlayStation 3 160 gig uh, slim and two controllers and a stack full of games now the games that are doubles for me are going to be Twisted Metal, Call of Duty Black Ops uh, Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3 Dead Island, Lair, Need for Speed Run, Assassin's Creed 3, Grid, and Diablo. The games that I did not have are going to be Bioshock 2, God of War Saga, Angry Birds Star Wars. Actually, this God of War Saga came with uh, the $140 lot that I bought. came with uh, two PlayStation 3 games. But in this $65 lot... Uh, this gentleman had another copy of this God of War Saga, so I kept one, and one has already sold. Angry Birds Star Wars, The Last of Us, I believe I may have that already. Uh, Medal of Honor Limited Edition, Face Breaker, Driver San Francisco, which is about an $18 to $20 game. Um, maybe around the $18 range. Tiger Woods PGA Tour 10, Need for Speed Carbon, Little Big Planet, Blur. I had so many people message me about Blur wanting to buy it. Well, I didn't have it, so I'm keeping it. Dishonored, The Walking Dead Season 2, The Walking Dead Game of the Year Edition, uh, Resident Evil 5 Gold Edition, Rayman Origins, and Rage. In the $140 lot, uh... I got some Wii titles that I did not have, and that was Just Dance 2, NASCAR 2011, Marines, FIFA Soccer, 
Need for Speed Hot Pursuit and Virtual Tennis 4. At the pawn shop today, I picked up uh, six new gen games. These three are going in the collection. Sega Genesis Classics, Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection, and Wild Guns Reloaded. The other three that I picked up are going to be World War Z Farming Simulator 19, which is about a $28 to $30 game, and Resident Evil 2. Those three I'm going to be reselling to recoup my money, put the other ones in the collection for free. The Midnight Club LA uh, edition right there, that was in the $140 lot, as well as those three Super Nintendo games. Um, there were some extra Nintendo games here. In the big, huge lot, there was an Atari catalog. Also in that huge lot, there were these three complete in box Sega Genesis games. Nothing crazy, just some sports titles. That was that Atari uh, controller. And then we've got some consoles. We've got a Nintendo that needs a lot of cleaning. Three PS1s. I don't uh, resell these, you know, individually. I'm going to lot all of them up and sell them dirt cheap. Uh, we got the PS1 Slim. We got the Game Boy Advance uh, Game Boy Player for the uh, GameCube. I'm keeping that. I've never found one. Unfortunately, it is missing the disc, but maybe uh, sometime this year I'll come across the disc. And then we got three working GameCubes. And uh, also we've got a PlayStation uh, headset. We've got some memory cards here, a couple for the Dreamcast. This uh, PS3 controller came with uh, this big $65 lot that I bought. But there you have it, folks. I tried to go through that as quick as I could. If you've enjoyed the content, by all means, hit that like button. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button while you're at it. Be sure to hit the bell icon so you receive notifications every single time I upload new content. Folks, it's been one hell of a damn January. And you know what? I hope you've had a great week. I know I have. I'm Tata Collector, and have a good one.